Hello, my dear children. Namaste to all of you and welcome to yet another session of our much-loved Spring Tech series for ICSE Class 10. And this is Ambika, your biology master teacher, right here, right way down to. Well, guys, as you know, or as you perhaps may not know, we have uh, started with Spring Tech series for ICSE already on this channel. So um, we've been doing some of your chapters. Some of them are already done. Today, we are going to be discussing some questions from the chapter photosynthesis okay so those of you who don't know what i uh, what sprint tech series is um, it's very simple children we've already given you all sorts of um, conceptual understanding and everything in the form of umang series vip series sorry uh, umang series yes vip series also happening for some batches um, and we've also been doing one shot one shot series chapters and one shot bio bite series and a lot lot more so in addition to all this, it's very important that you get that extra winning edge, right? And to boost your confidence to face your exams, it's important to have question practice. That's exactly what we intend to give you through this series, all right? So um, the chapter photosynthesis, as you know, is, go, uh, is relatively a uh, little longer as compared to some of your other ICSE chapters, which means today we are going to be discussing part one. So this is why we are going to be discussing this chapter in two parts. Part one is happening right away today. These are the major topics coming under this chapter. Uh, the process of photosynthesis and its importance. Uh, experiments related to this. Chlorophyll, the formation of starch and release of oxygen. And of course, the carbon cycle. All right. So that's only to give you a basic idea. And children, by the way, yes, you all know that we have had a... 50% um, off up to rupees 1500 um, and we've all been telling you and we will continue to tell you that we will remain with you till the very end all right so upon popular demand we are going to be extending this date so what you see here is till the 14th of feb but of course we are past that date now we are going to be extending this date right so make sure you check out the link in the description box below and the pinned comment i'll tell you more about it as we go deeper into the session all right guys let's begin starting with the homework i gave you in the last session remember what is lengthy cell many of you gave me the answer to it prapti and abrajit your answers are what i have put in here uh, prapti says lenticels are the minute openings present on the bark of old stems amazing session ma'am thank you so much prapti yes lenticels are indeed the minute openings present on the bark of older stems right um, woody stems or older stems as we may say same thing that Abrajit also says, um, lenticels are openings that are present on the barks of older stems in place of stomata. Very well, said Abrajit and Prapti and everyone else who've given me the answer to this. Bang on and good job. Thank you so much, children. And do continue supporting us by clicking on the like button because that's, I think, the best quickest and easiest way of letting us know that you are finding all the content here useful. All right. Yes. So, children, uh, moving ahead, having a look at the schedule. As you know, um, many sessions have already been done. Cell cycle, cell division, chromosome structure, absorption by roots and transpiration. This is where we are right now. Right. Photosynthesis part one. OK, so this will go on. Biology schedule is going to be going on till the 27th of Feb. So roughly for about another 11, 12 days, we are going to be having these uh, for biology. Coming to chemistry, Anubha ma'am's uh, series has also al already started and Anubha ma'am will also be having sessions with you for this series till the 27th of Feb. Okay, please note the time. Then Anub sir for physics, uh, sir has also already started and sir's sessions have also been going on and this will continue till the 26th of Feb, alright. So that's about biochemistry and physics. Now comes mathematics for Gopal sir. So Gopal sir has, uh, sir would be in need of more sessions unlike us. So sir's sessions are going to be on almost every day, I think, yes, literally every day till the 26th of Feb. Okay, that's about Gopal's schedule and then Shweta ma'am's uh, English schedule is also here. So ma'am's sessions are also going on till the 27th of Feb. All right, then Ankana ma'am. 
Ankana Ma'am sessions are also happening. Uh, your social study schedule will go on till the 27th of Feb. So basically, children, as you can see, by the end of February, we'll be entirely done with Sprint Tech series for ICSE Class 10 for the academic year 2020-2021. All right. So do not miss out any of these. Please keep an eye on the schedule um, as much as possible. Please try and attend all our sessions while they are getting premiered. But we do understand pre-boards and uh, you might be busy with many other uh, things. So just in case you miss out any of them, please don't hesitate. Please don't forget to come back and watch our sessions. All right, guys, because we want you all to benefit from all the hard work that we continue to do for you. OK, yes, children. So. Um, and of course, to ensure that you don't miss out on any of this, it's important to stay subscribed. So click on the subscribe button right now if you haven't done that yet. And here goes your positive quote for the day. When your past calls don't answer, it has nothing new to say. Well, um, I think there could be a lot of meanings to this. Uh, one way we could look at it is whatever your past has been, whatever, however it's been, I mean, positive negative or whatever it is but uh, i think most people get stuck up held up they just feel stuck thinking about the fact that um, something negative happened in the past maybe i wasn't a good student maybe at your age you might be thinking about a lot of things like that um, i haven't been a good enough student i haven't been a good enough child whatever it's been you, it's not under your control anymore right am i right so ask yourself that can i do something for that well i think the best way to rectify your past is to move on, to forget about it, live for the present moment. Children, whatever you think about this quote, please let me know in the comment section below. And those of you who loved this as much as I have loved it, please click on the like button right now. Yes, guys. OK, now question one for this session. Yes. Name the process by which green plants prepare their own food. Who has a doubt in that? Your time ends in three, two, one, go. Yes, photosynthesis, of course, that's what this chapter is entirely about, right? So um, if at all a chapter, a, a question like this comes, one mark is entirely yours. But um, unfortunately, such a direct question is very less likely to come, okay? But now that I'm giving you questions only from this chapter, it might have seemed a little easy for you little too easy for you that is but if at all you were uh, facing this question in your actual exam would you have clicked uh, sorry not clicked on would you have actually written the right answer um ask yourself and then you can judge yourself whether you are really good at this or whether you need a little more preparation all right okay it's not transpiration it's not breathing it's not anything else it is photosynthesis of course right so question two the starting point of all food chains is dash. What could it be? Starting point of all food chains. Yes, what are food chains in the first place? The different trophic levels. Um, there are certain organisms that feed on other organisms and they are fed upon by other organisms and so on. This continues forming a food chain in an ecosystem. Starting point of all food chains is dash. What do you think it is? producers or green plants so i will just write producers here yes producers we call them producers technically the most common producers are the green plants yes okay so uh, yes of course just to make things a little uh, more clear to you green plants are where food chains begin because they are the organisms which can prepare their own food by photosynthesis. These would be fed upon by um, herbivores, right? So they form the primary consumers as we may call it. They are fed upon by consumers. Okay, sorry, secondary consumers or carnivores as we may call them. Okay, so these are primary consumers. Okay, so children, uh, these terms you don't have to know, but just to make it clear to you, because we mentioned that green plants or producers are the starting point of all food chains um, in this chapter, photosynthesis always. All right. Yes, moving ahead. 
name the raw materials needed for photosynthesis i'll i'll make it a plural over there raw materials needed for photosynthesis because it's not just one what are they oxygen is it um carbon dioxide is it i mean i'm not telling you the answer i'm asking you to say yes or no with every every word that i mention okay oxygen carbon dioxide water um maybe glucose raw materials your time ends in 3 2 1 go <laughs> oh i think i just clicked on the next one um, a little earlier than giving you the uh, the full time never mind anyway okay the raw materials needed are water and carbon dioxide children always remember water and carbon dioxide of course the equation has to be balanced um in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll form what we call glucose right and um, they release oxygen and a bit of water as well this is what we call photosynthesis so the raw materials or the ingredients which go into this would be water and carbon dioxide all right yes now moving ahead next one yet another one mark question the specific function of light energy in photosynthesis is dash synthesis is to synthesize glucose to activate chloroplast split water or to reduce carbon dioxide I'll just add a two here is to dash yes what do you think it could be specific function of light energy in photosynthesis You can't take so long, so your time ends in three, two, one, and go. Light energy or sun's energy in photosynthesis is mainly to split water, and we call this process of splitting water in the presence of sun's energy by a special term. You know what that is? Yes, of course, it is photolysis or photolysis, as some people like to call it. Yes, children. So do not, do not, do not forget this term, photolysis. Okay. Now, next one. All right. This is a little interesting. I mean, I would say this is very interesting, um, but it's been phrased in a different manner. Okay. Rewrite the completed explanation by inserting a key word in the space indicated by this symbol. Okay. Photosynthesis is the splitting of water molecules into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions in the presence of dash and light. Okay, this or dash, whatever it may be, and light. What do you think would come in the position of this to complete this statement? Yes, think about it very, very quickly. All we can take is thirty seconds at the most. <coughs> yes. photolysis splits water molecules into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions in the presence of yes of course chlorophyll and light chlorophyll and sunlight i think i've already told you this using that equation so children do not forget this you know what happens i'll just add a tip here for you um those of you well i know many children uh, from my last years past years experience um who are scared of questions that are framed in a slightly different manner like these okay so it's like oh my goodness it's a it's a long question there are many words in it um and it's not that direct not a very direct question so i'll just skip it you know how 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 uh silly it can be to leave a question like this yes it can be extremely silly to leave a question like this okay so uh, even in my student days there have been times when um if at all i was super tensed super nervous on the day of the exam i would be like i wouldn't even bother to read the question end to end i would be like look at some keywords in the middle and i would assume that i don't know the answer that is such a bad idea it's always led me to trouble which is why today i'm in a position to tell you don't do that it's a very simple one you know the answer why do you even worry about it yes uh, i know hydrogen ions hydroxyl ions those terms might be a little scary for some of you but it's asking you something very simple it's actually just another sophisticated way of asking you a fill in the blank question this is considered to be yet another blank that's all okay yes children so this is what photolysis is now moving ahead 
without changing the first term, rearrange the remaining terms in a logical sequence. Okay. So, um, a set of terms has been given to you. Destarched leaves, iodine added, washed in water, a leaf boiled in alcohol, placed in sunlight. These are the terms. Testing the presence of starch. So, these are the steps which are involved in testing for the presence of starch. How would you reorder this? First step, of course, has to be destarched leaves because... Why do I say that has to be the first step? Any idea? Because all experiments begin with this. Of course they do. But I have a sillier reason for you on that. You know what that is? The question says, without changing the first term. So the first term doesn't change. It remains intact. All the others, please think about it. Iodine added, washed in water, leaf boiled in alcohol, placed in sunlight. I think there are five terms in all. How would you order them? After destarching leaves, what would be the next step? Quickly, quickly come up with the answer. After that, what would be the next step? And further, what? And finally, what? And your time ends in 3, 2, 1, go. Yes, children, after destarching uh, de a plant, which would be step 1, you would place the plant in sunlight. Why do you destarch it? To remove any previously existing starch. To remove any existing, already existing starch. Because that might interfere with your results. Right? Okay. And now if you don't remove that, this experiment is anyway going to turn, uh, going to give you the presence of starch, going to indicate the presence of starch. Right? Yes. That's exactly why any previously prepared starch that's already there, it's important to remove it. And then you make it completely free of starch and now begin with the experiment so that at the end of this experiment now, you would be able to conclude whether or not starch was made right now. Right? That's exactly what we want to identify. So after destarching, you place it in sunlight, okay, for some time and then you pluck out a leaf boil it in alcohol and then you uh, wash it in water. Finally, you test for the presence of starch by adding iodine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This can easily fetch you 2 marks. This is why I love ICSE exam questions because um, instead of asking you to memorize, I think they do a good job of giving you questions in different formats like these. And that's really interesting to see. Okay, so children, this is about the steps involved in testing for the presence of starch. Okay, righto. Now let's take a very quick break. Uh, those of you who joined the session late, please remember I have good news for you. Um, at Vedantu, <coughs> apart from the YouTube sessions, you can be part of our unlimited live classes um, filled with fun and high level quizzes. And children, you can compete with students across India and across the world also, which makes every session very interesting. And uh, interactive replays are a, are a very, um, I would say, a very useful part of our uh, product, a useful part of the Vedantu product, because if at all you miss out any session while it's happening live, it's all right. You can still watch the replay but it's not going to be like a YouTube sessions replay. You know what's interesting? Quizzes and leaderboards are still going to be just like a live session. Isn't that amazing? Imagine being able to play Menti even in a replay. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, that's what we have on the Vedantu platform, not on Menti here. Okay? Yes, children. And you can download handwritten notes of your master teachers after every session. Then doubt solving tests and assignments all guaranteed to give you full confidence to face the final exam. All right, guys, micro courses, 5,000 plus micro courses and free crash courses for competitive exams, all available for free. Yes, for those of you who are registered and about the pricing, I will tell you, but remember the coupon code children, AMBPRO, okay, AMBPRO, using which you can avail amazing benefits, amazing discounts. How exactly? Well, we are committed to staying with you till the very end, till you are done with your exams, children. So although you see the 14th Feb date here, this has been extended out of popular request, upon popular request. Yes, so children make the best use of it right now. The 50% off up to rupees 1500 is still on. So check out the link in the description box below and the pinned comment. 
and this is the pricing details uh, these are the pricing details okay so 2699 is going to be the entire total pro price total vedantu pro subscription price 2699 for four subjects what are they science maths english social studies everything okay now after 50% off what you get you get it at just 1349.5 isn't that amazing yes um, so that you can avail through the coupon code ambpro all right children so now to calculate the per session price it's important to it makes sense to divide it by 200 um, and that gives you rupees 6.7 per session can you imagine children well uh, children as i have been telling you not just on the YouTube channel, of course, here also we will continue doing our best. But on the Vedanto platform as well, this is an amazing, amazing, super amazing feature, a set of features that we have. And all of that available to you at such a reasonable cost. So make the best use of it right now, children, because it's affordable. It's designed in such a way that it's affordable to everyone. It's affordable to almost every average Indian citizen because it's a balance between quality and uh, and making it pocket friendly that Vedantu always aims at. Remember children, we are always with you and dedicated to stay with you to help you till the very end of your academic year. That's exactly why this is happening. So make the best use of it right now. Now the decision is yours. Okay. Yes. Now children, have a look at this. Um, support the statement with a reason okay green leaves are thin and broad okay so in general green leaves are generally thin and broad i would just like to add that word there generally thin and broad why do you think green leaves have to be thin and broad yes what is the benefit of it they wouldn't be generally very thick and they would be broad right Shapes can be different, of course, but what is the benefit? Of course, it is to give them a large surface area for photosynthesis to occur. Yes, children, but then also keep in mind that there may be plants like a punchia, which have um, tiny spiny leaves, leaves modified in the form of spines, leaves modified like a very, very thin structure and a lot, lot more. But that is because those plants <coughs> generally grow in dry conditions where transpiration, loss of water through transpiration can also be a problem. So to strike a balance, those plants would have a reduced surface area. But in general, compared to other plant parts, leaves are designed in such a manner, even the position, they are pretty much at right angles to the rest of the plant's axis, right? Something like this. If this is the stem, leaves are positioned in such an angle, at such an angle. So that maximum surface area would be exposed to the sunlight to help in photosynthesis. Moreover, broad surface area for the same reason. Large surface area for photosynthesis to efficiently occur. Yes? Okay. Question 8. All life on earth will come to an end if there were no green plants. This is another way of asking you the question about food chains. Remember? Okay. Not just that, here there is something else that you need to add. Basically, it is just asking you about the advantages of photosynthesis. Advantages of photosynthesis. Okay. Yes. So, green plants manufacture food which supports all life on the planet. Yes, and apart from this, they give out oxygen, which is a life-sustaining gas, life-supporting gas for all aerobically respiring organisms. This is why green plants are very, very crucial, crucial and important and extremely significant to have on our planet Earth. All right. Yes, let's now move ahead to the next one. State the functions of xylem and stoma. Okay, what is stoma? Xylem, perhaps all of you know. But what is stoma? Think about it for a bit and tell me the answer. I'll be looking at the chats while the session is premiering, okay? Yes. Xylem, what does it do? Stoma, what does it do? 
and your time ends in 3, 2, 1 and go. Yes children, xylem helps in conduction of water and dissolved minerals beyond doubt. Part of the vascular tissues, right? But stoma is just the singular form of singular form of stomata. Yes, singular form of stomata or stomata as some people call it. Stoma are the openings through which exchange of gases takes place, carbon dioxide and oxygen <coughs> and also the part through which transpiration occurs. Let me just add that also here because in your exam it's not like uh, the chapter will be specified. So functions of stomata you will have to be able to write everything. Transpiration as well. Most of it. Most transpiration. Yes? Okay. So xylem if it was phloem, it would have been food conduction because it's xylem, it is water and dissolved minerals. Okay. Ah, take a deep breath. We are about to enter the final question for today's session. And then we will be continuing with the same chapter in yet another session. All right. Here is the next one. Explain the structure of chloroplast. All right. Now, uh, children, let me make it very clear to you. This has been mentioned here as a three marks question, but do keep in mind that it may not necessarily come in this form. Because it's ICSE, you might be given the diagram of a chloroplast. You might be asked to answer questions based on that. Okay. So be very, very familiar with it. This is what chloroplasts look like. Describe the structure of chloroplast, right? So structure, you can write that uh, it's an oval shaped organelle, which is double membraned. Oval shaped, bounded by two membranes, the outer membrane and the inner membrane, right? And then the ground substance, the basic substance or the ground substance which is inside the chloroplast is what we call stroma. The aqueous fluid is called stroma, okay? So stroma is the next key term. Then within it, you can see disc shaped tiny sac like structures which we call thylakoids. Individual um, flattened discs are called thylakoids. They would be stacked up one on top of the other to form what we call granum. A granum is a stack of thylakoids. Okay, one individual coin like structure or disc like structure is called a thylakoid. A stack of them we call it a granum. And there are many such grana in the stroma of the chloroplast. All right, yes, so thylakoids, uh, grana. Yes, and the next one is uh, lamellae. The next term extending throughout the stroma is a system of membranes which we call lamellae. These are the structures which we call lamellae. All right, and these are joined to the thylakoids. So lamellae basically um, act as a sort of connect between adjacent stacks of thylakoids. All right, now children, um, another way of asking you a question based on the chloroplast, let me make it clear to you. Um, it could be based on the process of photosynthesis itself. As you know, and as we will be discussing in the upcoming session, light and dark reactions. It's very, very important to know where exactly light and dark reactions happen in photosynthesis. All right, so um, Yes, I think uh, that would be a good way of asking you. So maybe a diagram of chloroplast would be given to you and uh, probably like the role of uh, the link between this and the process of photosynthesis could be asked. So I think that's an interesting way of asking you something based on chloroplast. Okay, a drawing label is uh, less commonly asked, but if at all, this is how you draw it and it's a very, very simple diagram to draw. Okay, so your next homework. What is meant by scotoactive stomata okay this is the question that i have to ask you for the next session try and do your bit of research all right and this is the chapter that we are on right now photosynthesis and these are the topics into which we have divided the chapter so children remember there is a part two that's coming up okay so we've although we've discussed a few questions based on all of these we're not done yet okay light reaction dark reaction form a very very important 
part of this chapter. So we are yet to discuss detailed in-depth questions based on those. So hold on and wait for the upcoming session. This has been our current session. This was, this is our current session. Um, in the last session, which was the day before yesterday, we discussed transpiration. The next session, I'm going to be meeting you after three more days from today on the 19th of Feb at 5 p.m. sharp. Okay, so photosynthesis part two. We will be discussing on the 19th of February. Do not miss it. Very, very important session that it's going to be. And children, remember that the date has been extended. Yes. So uh, remember to check out the link in the description box below and the pinned comment. Remember the coupon code AMBPRO. Just have it in mind that we as a team will be here to support you throughout. Yes, children, AMBPRO. Don't forget it. And of course, children, please click on the like button if you have enjoyed this. Um, and please share it with all your class 10 ICSE friends because um, more the merrier. Well, as I always tell you, um, we perhaps started with series for ICSE a year and a half ago when there were not really too many ICSE, um, ICSE channels like on YouTube. So I think since then and now also, we have been entirely dedicated to giving you the best experience. So not to worry, just stay at peace, leave the rest to us. Just let your friends know that we will be here and we would love it if maximum number of children could benefit from what we do here. All right, guys, so I'll see you in yet another session. So until then, take care, stay happy and stay healthy. Bye-bye.